are being raised tonight about the conversion therapy ban in East Lansing. We first told you about it this morning. The council voted to make it a criminal misdemeanor to perform the practice of trying to convert a person from being gay to straight. But does that violate the First Amendment? Fox 47's Christiana Ford takes a closer look. A practitioner, even before doing the therapy or without ever doing the therapy, could sue the city and say that we are restricting that person's right to free speech. Council member Ruth Byer says she has serious concerns about our city's new conversion therapy ban ordinance. After speaking with the city attorney, I don't think we can enforce an ordinance. Bear was one of two votes against the ordinance. She says that's because she fears another lawsuit. In 2017, a Charlotte farmer sued the city of East Lansing in connection to a different discrimination ordinance. That case is still ongoing and Bayer says the city can't afford another one. And we have been embroiled in another free speech case um, that is costing the city it will cost the city hundreds of thousands of dollars, which we don't have. Attorney David Coleman says Bayer has good reason to be concerned. If they try to enforce it, absolutely, there will be lawsuits. There's a lot of constitutional issues here, a number of issues from freedom of religion, First Amendment free speech issues. But these are questions council member Aaron Stevens, who proposed the ordinance, says were fleshed out. I mean, our city attorney was there with us throughout the process um, and you know, he answered every question that we had, and I was working with him long before this came to the actual council table. Byer says, well, she disagrees with conversion therapy. The city is going about it the wrong way. I think this is an example of us wanting to look like a welcoming, liberal, open city, which we are. In East Lansing, Christiana Ford, Fox 47. To enforce this ordinance, someone would have to make a complaint to East Lansing Police and they would have to investigate. The city attorney tells Fox 47 he's looking at the criminal misdemeanor amendment. We'll share his findings as soon as we get them.